a beautiful sunny day. Bozo's going nuts because the dog that attacked him the first time. We Dave, know that. Yeah? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> One of the things that we said. Well, how many was it again? What? How many? It, it was 40. 40. 40 flowers. That's four zero. I know. Okay. okay that's Ten times four. Okay. Yeah, that's four times. Just excuse the fact that I was really interrupted there. So firstly, Barzo's going nuts because the black dog that attacked him in the street in earlier in the year is roaming around freely today, which is like, oh, I hate that. Um, and just this morning, because we've got a beautiful day after a full day of rain yesterday. So we're out doing the washing. It's like, get the washing out because we haven't been able to do that for a week and planting some bulbs, just tidying up the garden and then we're going to go to a waterfall and see that because the mountain now is full of water like really full of water so that means the streams are going to start talking and the waterfall will be going so we're going to go look at that and as Mr Day has just reminded me he went off um, and bought, came back with 40 bulbs and um, one of the things that we've always done is and I've got a collection of it, is we've got a collection of cards. So I get a card for Christmas and birthdays and Valentine's, and they're always really beautiful, and they don't do, really do cards in Portugal. And if they do, then they're, they're okay, but they're expensive, but they're not the beautiful ones that I'm used to. So I was like, oh, okay, that tradition's going to have to stop. Anyway, a friend suggested that um, maybe buying flowers. Chris doesn't like to, to buy me cut flowers. He doesn't like having flowers cut and then they die and you throw them away. He'd rather have them growing in the garden. So the idea is that instead of cards or cut flowers, I get plants for the garden. So he's taken this on board and come back with 40 bulbs. So we've got daffodils. Specifically, so I don't have to do it for 40 years. <laughs> You're so mean. Daffodils, tulips are going in along the edge. And what have you put along here? Hyacinths. Hyacinths. So that's kind of like 40 bulbs. That's like They're back pay. Grow higher. Back pay. <laughs> that's my back. That's all the years you've never bought me flowers. Suddenly I have 40, or at least two or three bunches. 40 bunches. <laughs> what? I'm just showing the world that man does the washing. Man also does flowers <laughs> by the 40. <laughs> so I got on with tidying up the garden, defining the edge of the flower bed, chatting to neighbours as they passed by, so that then Chris could plant his romantic bunches of flowers. Flowers that I will have as long as they seek to pop up during the spring and the summer. It was at this point that I actually encroached on Bozo's guarding position and stood on his tail. Oops. We're going to put them in groups of three and four, or three and five. Yeah. Cascata Bica da Agua da Alta is a waterfall that's not far from Caramulo, close to Guadal de Cima. It's signposted from the road, so we always park our car and then walk down to it. I'm here!
Right, so, so this is what we've come to see. It's just like a nice little trip out. Is that um, finally after all the dry weather and now all the rain, um, the benefit is the waterfall sing. And this one is a particularly spectacular one. I'm going to stop talking to you and carry on down because I don't want to slip. Oh, here's my doggy. Hello. All right, go on then. I'm coming. I think for Bozo, the waterfall looked like a shower. And Bozo doesn't like showers. <laughs> Is this nice, Bozo? Can, you can hear the dogs. So what we've got is Bozo's up on the top terrace as guard with an overview. So Cola's like the low ground and then Zinga, she's the advanced party. So he's off down the, down the street barking because they've heard the goats. Oh, shut up. Oi! Cola's decided it's time for a rest. So she's down here on the grass in the sun. Oh, Zinga, she's down there on that terrace barking. <coughs> Mad. So, um, today's project, I'm hoping today, maybe tomorrow as well, is putting some compost bins in place. Um, I have two. There are two in the garden. There's one on the top terrace and there's one there. But, um, I want with the size of land here I need more I need to generate more compost more mulch more so we were trying to decide where's the best place to put them because um, there's nowhere to hide them away and it was yeah so in the end what we've decided is that actually putting them here one two three is sort of central to the garden because the other challenge is you, you've got to be able to move compost and you're moving it up and down terraces which is in steps and so it's not always the easiest of things so we thought we'll put three here and then maybe I can have um, like I can grow something along this edge because this part of the terrace is almost like a, a sort of a plateau maybe some trees and shade it and hide it and it also helps shade maybe the things that are behind it so we're going to try and see so I'm going to move that one put another one here and then hopefully there's enough wood to build a third and I can start really producing some good compost um, and then that means that that space under the lemon tree is free for um, redesigning redeveloping the grey water system so I created a really simple filter for the grey water from the kitchen. So it comes into like a, a, a filter system, which is stones and mulch. And, um, but I need to refine that because I want to be able to direct the grey water into specific plants, specific trees. So have it come out, filter, and then go to maybe the lemon tree and the mahondra um, and maybe something else. So be more specific with the grey water so in order to do that is move the compost bins move that one and then I can do the next bit but for today on this beautiful sunny day it's nice and warm it was freezing this morning 
um, we had frost. <laughs> I went up for a walk at seven o'clock this morning and there was frost on the mountain. So that's three weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was in shorts and a t-shirt. Now I could certainly have a t-shirt today, but three weeks ago, we were wandering around in, I was wandering around in shorts and a t-shirt and it was in the mid twenties. Three weeks later, there's frost on the mountain. So um, we've had a lot of rain, much needed, but now it's, it's, we're into that season of managing it. And also dogs that just keep barking. To make the compost bins, I used wooden pallets that I had acquired from around the village or that we had had ourselves. Three sides were screwed together and then I put a front on using some wood that we had spare and lying around the farm. Hello, barking dog. You were making a lot of noise. You were. What were you doing? Huh? What were you doing? Hmm? What were you doing? Were you telling us something wrong? What were you doing making all that noise? Yes. What are you doing, Zakola? You know, I had this morning when I was um, busy um, 
So we've just had lunch, by the way. That's why I'm talking about this morning. That might not be apparent to you. Um, Zicolo and Zingesh and whatever were barking. Does one hear the dulcet tones of a dog barking? She's been at that for the last half an hour, so she's just sat on the terrace and barking. Whilst we've had our, mus our, our lunch, so it's almost like being music for us barking. So, um, I'm still going. I don't get it. So we've had a very nice lunch, sat on the terrace in the sun, because now I'm thinking as we go into winter, actually the terrace is probably one of the warmest places to be. Although the yellow house is pretty warm because the sun's coming in through the window, so that's really nice. But you may have noticed we have a hole in the roof, a large hole. Why would we have a hole in the roof, you may ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. Mr. Day might emerge from the hole because he's somewhere up in the roof. Hello, hello. Woohoo! You all right? Are you done? I'm done. Woohoo! So, any ideas? What, what's been going on? Why we would need a hole in the roof? As you can see. Oh. God, please don't let that fall down. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what? What? That is close to bloody perfect position. Thank you so much for listening to this story so far. If you've enjoyed it, then do give it a like before you leave. And if this is your first time watching this channel, then consider subscribing. I'm telling stories of my life on this mountain. They're simple stories and they're just how I live my daily life and the things that I experienced. Well, I am off to sit in a chair swing and look at a view. Goodbye.